The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This is Pastor Taylor. Cleared out and evicted forever. You see, after war broke out in heaven and Michael and his angels fought the dragon and the dragon fought back but was defeated, the dragon, the enemy, and all the enemy's minions were evicted from heaven forever. No more riffraff and no more trouble allowed to dwell there. The Lord used an angel, Michael, to defeat one who was a fallen angel, Lucifer, because God's own son, Jesus, was the one who redeemed the world by dying on the cross and rising from the dead. His precious blood shed for us brings restoration of a new heaven and a new earth. Jesus' work points us forward so that we see this fulfilled in the work of Michael and all angels, whose feast day we remember today. Thankful that the enemy is indeed defeated and thankful that there is no room in heaven for the enemy or his minions. We rejoice in our baptisms into Christ, connected to Jesus' death and resurrection. We are grateful for the gift of Jesus' body and blood where we receive the gifts of heaven in our mouths, forgiveness of sins, life and salvation. And we are ecstatic every time we hear the words, I forgive you all your sins, knowing that now we have also been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Grateful to the Lord for his holy word and grateful for Michael and all angels, we give thanks that the enemy does indeed get defeated. And as Michael had evicted the enemy from heaven, so also that same enemy is evicted from our lives as well, eradicated, evicted, and gone forever. For submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. God has sent his son Jesus, the great redeemer who died on the cross and rose from the dead, who ascended in glory and is coming back at the end of time, so that you need not be afraid of the enemy and all his minions anymore. Defeated and evicted, that is the story of the enemy, received, welcomed, and forgiven. That is the story of all his holy ones. Rejoice that you are loved and received in that amazing grace of God. The blessing of God Almighty be upon you and remain with you forever, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.